Hey everyone, this is Eddie. Today I'm going to give you a very useful tip if you're in law school. And I'm going to give you this tip because I'm going to take myself back to when I was about to go to my first uh, my first classes. Okay, and of course you have that orientation through that orientation week and everyone's excited and they have these little panels of like the, uh, the upperclassmen and all that. So I remember I was like, I was a 1L, and then they had the 3Ls there, right? And then I remember somebody asked a very excellent question, one of the 1Ls, that he said, he said, hey, 3Ls, he said, if, what, what, what's something that you know now that you wish you would've known when you were going in, like to your first year of law school? Okay, now I thought that was a very excellent question. Now, I don't, I do not remember the responses, and they must have not have been that effective because otherwise I would have remembered. But I'm gonna give you now, as someone who's already passed the bar exam, and if you're in law school, I'm gonna give you this priceless tip that I wish I, someone would have told me when I was a 1L. Okay, going to that orientation session, and here it is. Study for your bar, for your, study for your finals, study for your final exams using material from the state bar of that state. Now, that is very powerful. Okay, let me, let me give you an example of how powerful that is. So if you're an athlete and you're playing basketball, let's say high school or even college, you're gonna get your skills. You're gonna get it from the NBA. You're gonna get it from the top. It's the same thing here. Look at the state bar, look at, the, look at those exams, look at those past graded exams and go from there. So study from that perspective. Don't study from the perspective of, of a law student. And the good thing about those exams from, from the state bar is that they're usually free. So that is awesome. So let me say it again, just because it's so important. Study for your finals, for your law, your law exam finals, by looking at the state bar past exams. Now, there are seven subjects on the, um, on, on the bar that are just all, all across the board, the seven MBE subjects. And I'll put a list here at the bottom. So take a, a screenshot of this, and I do want you to use this method, and you will see what I am talking about when you get to doing your actual bar exam. You're gonna be like, oh my God, I know this. And also, writing, this is a skill. Your analysis is a skill. So what do skills have in common? Here it is, that they can all be developed. So can you imagine if you start developing your writing skills at that level as a, as a student in law school, by the time you get to the bar exam, oh my God, you're gonna be powerful. And that's what I want you to be. I want you to be powerful. So I hope this helps. Until soon.